So this question is a translate word problem question. Any question that is four or more lines long, I'm gonna treat like a translate word problem question, which just means I wanna read one sentence at a time and translate the meaning of that sentence. So the first sentence says a quadratic function can be used to model the height in feet of an object above the ground in terms of the time in seconds after the object was launched. So what I'm getting out of this is that something about height and time will be important for this question. The next sentence says, according to the model, an object was launched into the air from a height of zero and reached its maximum height of 25 feet, 1.25 seconds after it was launched. So I'm gonna draw a picture to represent that. So I'm just have a little X, Y axis here. So I'm starting off at zero, right at the ground. We're gonna throw this thing into the air. It's gonna fall back down to the ground at some point. But at this point here, at its high point, we know that that is 25 feet, and we know this is 1.25 seconds, right? So in essence, instead of this being a y-axis, this is now my height axis, and instead of this being an x-axis, this is now my time axis. Now, when I look at this, this is a parabola, and this is going to be very important for what I do next because I know that the parabola equation, which is not provided to you on this test, so you will need to memorize it, is y equals a, parentheses, x minus h squared plus k, where h comma k represents the vertex of the parabola. Now, because we're dealing with h instead of y and t instead of x, I'm going to rewrite this as h, capital H for height, equals a, parentheses, t for time instead of x, minus h squared plus k. Now, we know the vertex, though, because the question said right, that it has a maximum height here, 1.25 seconds for t, and 25 feet for the height. So I am going to say that now my h value, so I have capital H equals a, um, t minus h, which is the 1.25. Things are getting a little weird because we have multiple h's, but again, this is just the x value of the vertex, right? So the x value of the vertex is 1.25, so squared, plus now the k value, which is the y value, the second portion of the vertex, is my 25. Okay, so I need to solve for a, because I have two variables, I don't want to have two variables. So I'm going to use this point right here. So this point tells me that, um, this point tells me that everything starts out at 0 comma 0 here. So I know that my height is zero when my time is zero. So zero minus 1.25 squared plus 25. So I just replaced H with zero and T with zero based upon this point right here. And from that, I would say zero equals, now what is this? Zero minus 1.25 is negative 1.25. When I square that, I get 1.5625. I still have an A, so put the A in there and then plus 25 just drops down. I give and subtract 25 from both sides, which would lead to negative 25 equals 1.5625a. And then of course I can divide both sides by that 1.5625. And what I'm left with from that is that a is equal to negative 16 in my calculator. Okay, so now all that being said, it's a lot of math on this question. I can rewrite this as h equals negative 16, right, because we found A, T minus 1.25, because that is always the X value of the vertex, plus 25, because that is always the Y value of the vertex. So now, again, the question is asking, well, what happens when T is 1, right? What is capital H? What is the height when we're at 1 second? So now we're going to find that answer. So this becomes H equals negative 16. We know that T is 1, so I replace T with 1 minus 1.25 squared plus 25. 1 minus 1 1.25 is 0.25, so 0 0.25 squared plus 25 still equals my h. 0.25 squared, I'm going to throw that into the calculator. 0.25 squared is 0 0.0625, so 0 0.0625, but of course I'm multiplying that by negative 16. So that times the 16, so I'm getting negative 1 from that. So negative 1 plus 25 is 24. So H equals 24 is the correct answer.